the first thing we're going to do, we're going to do it live, is we are going to quit Twitter. And so we're going to go to twitter.com slash settings. And then under settings, you're going to find a way to deactivate your account. You're going to put in your password. And once you put in your password, it says deactivate. And then I think, yep, and then the, the video is almost done. I'm going to go ahead and show y'all. I'm going to go ahead and try to put in my, my old name. And I'll forward it past here a little bit. Which doesn't exist anymore. Put in my pass, password again. And it's going to ask me to reactivate. See, I'm trying to keep it honest here. I, I deactivated around midnight on October 6th. I'm sorry, on top, October 5th. So that's what's happening. I'm going to show it to you all one more time. If you go to Twitter slash settings, you go to more. And then settings and support. That's actually a longer way to do it. Under account, it says deactivate your account. And I'll go and let it play through one more time. Now, one thing to keep in mind, if you're going to deactivate your account, is that you also can take an extra step under settings and almost all the social media platforms, you can actually click on, um, on your history and they will give you your history in like an HTML form or a zip file. Zip is like a package that's zipped together like a Ziploc or whatever. Zip of all the photos and all those things. If you wanna keep all that and preserve it, you can go ahead and get it off there. To warn you though, if you know you're gonna leave a platform or if you're pretty sure you're gonna leave a platform but you're not quite ready to do it yet, go ahead and get your history off of there. It's called history or your timeline depending on the platform. I can go ahead and stop this because it's gonna keep repeating. <laughs> so you can go ahead and, and get it off the platform. Once you download all that, get it proper here. So once you download all that, then you can keep that forever. And so if there's certain photos on Instagram you want to keep, or there's certain, certain photos on Facebook you want to keep, and all those things, a lot of those platforms will allow you to download their stuff. I'm warning about this because, number one, I don't want you to feel like you're going to lose everything. You can literally keep it on your computer, your backup. I have previous episodes talking about how you can organize um, organize your files. Just click it at bringyourwork.tv, and it's about organizing your ideas. That's one episode. And there's a, another one about um, getting organized which was episode probably about two weeks ago that you can check out. It was part of the live episodes that I did all through September. So that's number one. You don't have to lose everything. But then number two is that if you're going to download that, depending on the platform and some platforms, because they have tech issues, took a little bit longer. I'll leave it at that. It might take up to a week, maybe even a few days for them to send it to you. So what you normally would do is go in there Ask for your timeline or for your history. It'll say, great, we're going to co compile it for you and we'll touch base with you when it's done. And usually some platforms that are really on top of it. It'll be within a day. Other platforms it might take a few days. Once you do all that, then you're able to go ahead, get it, and you can delete your account. We're going to show the same thing with Instagram. This is the link. And it took a while to find this. <laughs> this is actually the link for Instagram as far as deleting your account. Some of these platforms that I quit, it was like the joint was hitting. I know, surprise. But the joint was hidden. And so I was like, I don't know how am I supposed to do this or do that, do this or do that. So let me go ahead and show that one as well. Again, the link is right here. If you want the more detailed links, and you're on LinkedIn or if you're checking us out on Amazon, just go over to bringyourworth.tv. Click on this episode. It's episode uh, 358 about how to quit social media live Q&A. Click on this. All the links are below, okay? And then if you want to get meta about it, and I don't mean Facebook, if you want to get meta about it, you just click the link below, and it'll take you to the appropriate episode. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and show the same thing for Instagram. So it's the link I share right here, right? There's a temporary one, which is the link I show right there, if you want to pause your account for a minute. But then now you see me putting in the permanent one, and then that will actually show you. And then I ask you, you see how old school this is? This is like Instagram, like, I don't know what year this is, but this is literally me 
on there a week ago. They still haven't updated this. So it's like, all right, you're going to delete your account. Okay, put in your password. And it goes from there. <laughs> right? <laughs> I was hoping it wouldn't show my password there. All right, so it, it goes from there, and it says delete Brown Damon. And then this is the important part. And actually, let me pause this. Actually, I think it will show it. There it is. I'm going to pause right here. This is important. Your account will be deleted on November 5th, 2023. Now, remember, and if you watch the episode, again, in the links below, all the links are at brown, uh, bringyourworth.tv. If you could check out the, the links below of this episode, I have a link where in, I want to say, episode 357, episode right before this one, where I talk about me quitting social media, how you can escape social media in three questions. As I talk about at the beginning of the episode, I deleted these on November, I'm sorry, on October 5th. I'm almost all, on almost all these platforms, at least the major ones, they will actually keep your account active in some capacity for up to 30 days. But that means two things. Number one, your account's active for 30 more days. But then number two, technically, there's some limitations, but technically it's still active. But then number two, that means if you log in at all, and I think it mentions it, yeah, if you change your mind, log back in before then and choose to keep your account. So if you do any type of login, this is super old school. I learned this ages ago. I'm talking about, I think it was around the time I lived in Silicon Valley. Certain platforms like Google, Facebook, um, I think LinkedIn might be one of them. Twitter's definitely one of them. About 10, 15 years ago, again, back when I lived in Silicon Valley, they were trying to be more the key or the login for the rest of the internet. That's why there's certain websites that you go to and they say, hey, create an email, give us your email and create a password or use Facebook, LinkedIn, whatever, whatever, Google to log in. Once you do that, it taps Google, it taps Facebook, it ta taps whoever, whoever, and then says, hey, we need this information. Can you verify that Damon is, has a Facebook account? Can you verify that Damon has a LinkedIn account? Whatever, whatever. So if you're going to be deleting a social media platform, it's not just a matter of saying, I'm going to follow Damon's steps and delete this particular platform. I'm not going to log in for 30 days. It also means you need to figure out what platforms you've used these particular platforms or these particular uh, social media sites as a key. So if you have, I don't know, an account on a photo website and you happen to use Facebook to log into that photo website because you didn't come up with an original email or orig share your email and come up with original password, then that means you need to go to that particular website, that photo website, and come up with an original email and, and username, whatever, and password that's not connected to your Facebook account. Because if you go into any of these websites that you use your Facebook account to log into within the 30-day period, period, that's the same as you logging back into your Facebook account. And that means it'll reactivate and it'll be like nothing happened. And you got to wait another 30 days. Big warning there. I'm not going to tell you why I know that. <laughs> but it's been a case for Silicon Valley in a while, and I'm happy to share that gem with y'all. All right, so that's deleting Instagram, deleting Twitter. I'm not picking on, on them. I'm just trying to show you the process. I've, I've left a lot of social media platforms. The, the process is very similar across the board. All right, if you have any questions, go ahead and jump down below. Again, what social media platforms have y'all left? You know, what are you guys kind of dealing with as far as thinking about leaving these social media platforms? And what are the steps that y'all took to leave them?